Welcome back, Legends. I hope you're all fantastic. I'm going to take another look at the Friedman IRX today. I promised on the launch video that I did with this that I would show you all how I might go about setting this up with something like an Eventide H90. I figured I'd go a little bit better than that and actually give you three different rig ideas for this. One built around a pretty kind of simple pedal board style setup, another with the H90 using this as an insert, so kind of running it for cable method so you can have effects any way you like in the chain. And another one, I wanna show you how I would use this with some of my rack preamps or my Synergy system. Let's go. Rig idea number one is pretty straightforward and it's pretty similar to what I used to gig with when I gigged with a head and a cab. I would just have a couple of pedals in front of the amp and I'd have a delay in the effects loop. So I'm using the way huge super puss for the delay. I've got the awesome past effects chorus ensemble in front of the IRX. Channel one is set up to be super clean. When I kick in the boost, I get kind of just a bit of grit and drive on there. If I play in the humbucker mode, it's more of like an ACDC style crunch. On channel two, I've got my hard rock sound and I can kick in the boost when I wanna play leads. If I wanna activate the effects loop, I can hold down the middle foot switch on here as well. So let's just hear channel one with the chorus and then a bit of drive and then some delay and then on to channel two. <laughs> One thing I like about this setup is having the delay in the loop means that I can take the balanced output and just send that straight into a mixing desk. If I was in a situation where I didn't want to go DI, but I wanted to run through a power amp and a cab, I can just hold down this first foot switch and the IRs are going to be bypassed. So I could run that to say something like a Seymour Duncan power stage, like a little solid state power amp and a cabinet. And then I've got that flexibility in there of being able to run direct or run a power amp and a cab. And I've just got to hold down a foot switch. I've got to remember to hold down a foot switch. That's the only thing. And then I can activate the loop on there. I mean, this to me is kind of like if you had a couple of pedals on the floor, a delay sitting on top of your amp and you had the amps foot switch that could activate the loop in and out, which is how I used to gig a lot of this stuff. So that's rig idea number one. Number two is going to use the Eventide H90 and the IRX. This is such a powerful setup. The insert routing on the H90 essentially lets me use the Friedman like another block relative to the other two algorithm blocks in there. So if I wanted the Friedman before both effects, I can do that. If I wanted the effects before the Friedman, I can do that. If 
I want to just one effect algorithm before the Friedman and one afterwards, I can do that as well. Furthermore, I've got them hooked up with MIDI to an air step MIDI controller. So when I change patches, I can change channels and the boost function on the Friedman. When I go to a different patch in the H90, again, I can change that relative position of the Friedman. I'll give you some examples. This is a clean preset. So I'm using the clean channel on the Friedman, a compressor before the clean channel and a stereo chorus afterwards. <laughs> Okay, I can use the air step to switch to a new patch now. It is gonna change from the clean channel of the Friedman to the dirty channel. It's also gonna change the H90 to another preset that has some micro pitch and a circular style delay, but it's also going to reroute everything so that the Friedman is before the micro pitch and the delay in a kind of studio setup. So I get a nice big stereo spread. Again, I'll let you hear the patch that I'm on and then I'll switch over. <laughs> go to a patch where both of the effects in the H90 are routed before the preamp in the Friedman. I'll do that. I think it's over here. So I'm on the second channel for a dirty tone and then I have the option on the H90 to kick in the pitch fuzz algorithm or the weed whacker algorithm. Let's just have a listen to the dry tone then I'll bring each of them in. <laughs> cameo in there, which is always a good sign. The cool thing about this is you could just kind of set this up out of the way if you didn't want to have it, you know, on the floor at a dingy pub with people spilling beer on it and use MIDI to activate it. If you did want to run it manually, you can just kind of set it up the way I've got it set up here and kind of run it like the first example. The last rig idea I've got in here is actually just using the power amp section of this with the Synergy setup that I've got because the Synergies do have a DI out on the preamp modules. It's kind of like an analog speaker sim. I think having the power amp simulation from this and the ability to have built-in IRs is super convenient. And it's something I've actually been using quite a lot instead of hooking up say a separate power amp and a load box if I want to run my preamp silently. This sounds really good as a standalone power amp sim and IR loader. I've got my guitar plugged into the Synergy 2CP module. I'm coming out of that into the effects return of the Friedman. That way I am 
bypassing the Friedman's built-in preamp and I'm using the Synergy preamp. I've got channel one and channel two set up with different presence and thump settings on there and I'll switch between them so you can hear that. I've also got the H90 at the end of the chain so I can add some grease in just a little bit, but let's just hear the 2CP on channel one with the power amp simulation. So I'm just basically using the same power amp sim with different kind of resonance and presence settings. I think it's really nice being able to toggle between these. I do fool around with those settings on my SIN 5050 power amp, but because you're twisting knobs and not switching, it's a bit of a different experience. This really lets you AB the settings that you like quickly and easily. <laughs> If you're familiar with the way the Synergy system works, you can actually kind of four cable method the Synergy system to any preamp or existing amp. So you could place this essentially in the Synergy's loop and use it as an extra two channels. Furthermore, you could combine that approach with the four cable method thing we looked at with the H90 and four cable method the H90 to the four cable method Synergy. You could get totally wild with this. I think the Synergy setup with the H90 with the IRX would basically give you everything you'd need in a rig that could go direct, that could go to power amps and cabs, that could just give you awesome preamp tones or power amp tones. There are so many possibilities with this. And, you know, this has proved really popular already. And I can see why just having two absolutely killer core tones, a built-in boost, but that extra functionality of MIDI and the effects loop in there really lets it integrate into just about any rig you like. So I wanna hear from you now, how are you running your IRX in your rig? Are you just using it as a simple direct solution or are you kind of going to town with it and using it with a bunch of other gear? I'd love to hear about everybody's setups. And as always, if you like these kind of videos and you wanna support the channel, consider picking up some of my music or signing up to my Patreon. They're linked in the video description. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.